And now for the big reveal, the moment you've all been waiting for. My most unexpected item is... Hi, I'm Olivia O'Brien and I'm going to spill it. I would say this is like an everyday bag. It's definitely not a going out bag. I actually have a smaller bag within my bag for going out because I don't want to bring this bag with me when I go, you know, certain places. Like if I'm partying, going to the club, not that that's been happening lately. I bring this to like brunch or work or somewhere where I just need to bring a lot of things, which I like to have a lot of stuff on me at all times. So. I throw everything in my bag. I don't I don't ever keep it organized. It's like a, you never know. It's like Mary Poppins. Like it, there's a lot of things that you know get lost in there. You never know what you're going to find. So and here I have sunscreen. This is very important. I'm deathly afraid of aging and wrinkles. My mom's an esthetician and she like literally every day calls me as like, are you doing your skincare? Wearing your sunscreen. So yeah, this is um, my favorite because I can just put, like, it's a spray. So I can literally put it on over my makeup if I have makeup on and I don't want to take it off. I need to touch up my sunscreen. And this is my favorite lip. It's like a chapstick. I, I use it as chapstick. It's like technically a lip sleeping mask, but I feel like everyone that has this uses it just as a chapstick. It smells like strawberries and it's very hydrating. Hand sanitizer, this, my mom made this. She has a small skincare brand. Shout out Living Grace. It's named after me, my sister. It's got peppermint oil. And I have powder, Fenty Beauty. I just got this recently, but it's really good. Um, it has like a little thing in the bottom, so I don't need to bring a brush. Just very handy dandy. I actually guessed this color on the Sephora website and it matches pretty well, so I'm really proud of myself. I have one lone piece of gum because I don't want to bring my whole pack in my little bag because it's my like, little going out bag, right? This is my favorite perfume and you literally can't buy it anywhere. You can't buy it. I've been looking and searching, scouring the internet. You, It's a free sample from Fred Siegel. And if you walk in, oh my God, I don't know if I should be giving this away, but basically you get a free sample and they don't sell it at all. So please, Fred Siegel, please start selling this in a big bottle. I need a spray of it. It's so good. Um, it's amber and vanilla. It's very, very bomb. This is my favorite lip liner. It's Patrick Ta. It's been through a lot. There's like, it's like really, it's really uh, beat up. I bring this thing everywhere with me. I don't know what color it is. What is this? Oh, she's proud. I am proud. I'm very proud. Kind of matches. It's similar to the color of my like natural lip color. So I like it. It's just easy for like touch ups and everything. And then now to my, my big bag. This is where the fun begins. To start off simple. This is my second phone. I got a new phone and during a mental breakdown and my therapist told me it would be a good idea so that no one could contact me. And then I ended up just giving everyone my new number anyway. And then now I have two phones. This is just the number that all my exes have. This is like my, I call it my boy phone. Cause I don't want them to have my real number. This is my like normal phone number that I, you know, my work, my friends. I got two phones. My phone case, this is my current favorite wildflower cases. Case is called Groovy Shroom. My best friend Sydney and Devin and the whole family own this company and they designed all the cases and they're the cutest and the best. And yeah, this is my favorite one. They send me like literally all of them, but I refuse to change out of this one because I just love it so much. I literally have a shroom tattoo on my arm. So yeah, I like mushrooms. Take with that information what you will. This is my string ting. That's what it's called. It's the brand. It's fun, it's snazzy. Sometimes I'll just do this a gum. My friend Kelsey, when we lived together, she doesn't know how to work Amazon. And she did subscribe and save to order like a hundred of these things that came like every month. Every day I would be like, Kelsey, we just got another package of this gum. You need to cancel it. And she's like, I tried, it's not possible. I was like, give me your phone. Like, let me do this for you. I go on and in five seconds I stop, I end it. I'm like, and now we just have like, I have like a hundred of these. Advil for the pain. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Tequila, also for the pain. Not to be taken together though, that can get really dangerous. Yeah, I just, you know, sometimes you never know when you're gonna need to start a party somewhere. You also never know when you're gonna need to go to the strip club. Usually when I go to the strip club, other people will be paying for it, particularly men. But sometimes, you know, like I feel bad taking all their money or like they all run out of the money and then like, I, the strippers are like dancing on me and then I like don't have any money for them and then I feel bad. And they're always like, no, it's fine. But I'm like, no, like, come on. So if I always have this on me, 
I'll, I'll never have to worry about that. I can just break it out, make it rain, you know? So you never know. This is an old hotel key. That's awesome. A tampon. You never know when you might need one of these. This is um, a couple needles and some ink in case somebody wants a tattoo on the go. I've done a few stick and poke tattoos in my day. I did this one. Can you see it? <laughs> it's a sad face on my ankle. I really like tattooing people. Do you guys want a tattoo? <laughs> um, let's see, what else do I have in here? I have a bunch of stickers of myself. I put them in various places around Los Angeles. Um, I used to bring them to the club and stick them on bottles. I've stuck them on stop signs. Yeah, I put them all over the place. You never know when you're gonna need to make your mark, leave this somewhere. My nipples are totally out in my photo, that's really sad, okay. Straightener, mini straightener. When you got bangs, when you're a part of the bang gang, shit happens. You never know when you might need a little touch up. Also look how cute, I love mini stuff. Like it's literally, it's so cute. My wallet, it's got some fun stuff. I got my old fake ID in here. Utah. Funny story, I got this taken away at um, in Atlanta at this venue and I went to go see my friend Khalid perform. This is like two years ago. And I, the girl took it away and I was so upset. And then a year later I played that venue and I told the story on stage. I was like, yeah, like I got my fake ID taken away here. And after the show, I was in the uh, green room and the security guard comes in and he gives me my old fake ID back. And I was like, yeah. And yeah, had her with me ever since. She's a, she's a great friend. If anyone needs a fake ID, it looks like me, it'll hit me up, I guess. Birth control, because, oh my God, I don't think, it, did I take it last night? What's the day today? Does anyone have water? <laughs> I've just found one lone Prozac in my bag, <laughs> just in case I need to re up on the go. But I already did take mine this morning, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put her back in. I'm gonna put her back in, because I won't put her on the counter. I made these cards to give to people that are hot. If I see them on the street, it says you're hot, congratulations, here's my number. I haven't really had many opportunities to use them yet. And now for the big reveal, the moment you've all been waiting for. My most unexpected item is a bag of beans. Does anyone have a spoon? I don't know, I've, I just have been really vibing with beans lately. Me and my friend Sydney wanted to make a, I had this like random idea that I wanted to make a TikTok where I filled up a bathtub with beans and we said, this is your, you know the TikToks that are like, this is your sign to go to a rooftop and do a photo shoot with your bestie. Well, I was like, this is your sign to fill a bathtub with beans and do a photo shoot with your best friend. So yeah, I've just been really on the wave of beans. I think they're cool. I think that's, I think that's everything that's in my bag. Yeah, a good bag makes me feel prepared, knowing that I have whatever I need with me wherever I go. Like if I need to like touch up my lip liner or if I need gum or something, like I have it, I always have it. So that's, it's comforting, I guess. I feel like I got everything, got everything I need. I'm ready to conquer the world with my bag. It's just me and my bag. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, you can click here and to subscribe, you can click here.